Hi, Cancer. This will happen in the next 40 hours for December the 25th through December the 26th, 2023. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Cancer for December the 25th through December the 26th, 2023. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Cancer for December the 25th through December the 26th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Cancer for December the 25th through December the 26th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, cancer. Cancer, these are your cards, honey. So, Cancer, you have the three of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up, making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved, but this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So, listen, Cancer, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that this is some type of an agreement or a contract, collaboration, or there's a third party. Clarify the three of pentacles for cancer. Clarify the three of pentacles for cancer. Clarify the three of pentacles for cancer. It is clarified with the tower. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming. Something that catches you completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock in our moment. A moment of revelation. Now this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So cancer very well could be a shocking surprise. Shocking revelation. Something being revealed or a breakup. Clarify the tower for cancer. Clarify the tower for cancer. Clarify the tower for cancer. It is clarified with the fool. Could be dealing with an Aries, but the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey to do a brand new thing, sight unseen, just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. So cancer could be dealing with an Aries. Well, you can tell me that, hey, I just want to up and do something, take this leap of faith, set out on this brand new journey. Or you're telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool for cancer. Clarify the fool for cancer. Clarify the fool for cancer. It is clarified with the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini, but the lover says, you know, I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. So Cancer, listen, could be dealing with a Gemini, but you can tell me that you guys have this strong twin flame magnetic pull. You can tell me there's another other lover, but the lovers could also be a partnership with work or business. Clarify the lovers. For cancer, clarify the lovers. For cancer, clarify the lovers. For cancer, it is clarified with death. This card wanted to jump out. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you can tell me that something is ending here. Something could be starting new after ending or some type of transformation or change. Clarify death for cancer. Clarify death for cancer. Clarify death for cancer. 
It is clarified with the Seven of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being defensive. You're on the defense. But this can also speak to you being put in a position where you're having to defend yourself against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. And this can be you shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So you could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and you're giving your defense or excuse here. So Cancer, listen, you can tell me that you're standoff or shunning and setting boundaries with this person. Or you're trying to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse, or defense here. Now listen, Cancer, this could all be a partnership with work or business where there was some type of shocking shake up here. Someone took a risk or a chance and things may be ending. You may want to start new, you know, setting your boundaries here. Like I can't take this anymore. I'm out of here. Okay. Cancer, you can tell me that this is the relationship and you're telling me that there's been a shocking shakeup or a shocking revelation and maybe even a breakup because someone took a risk or a chance here. You or them thus far, and I'm going to tell you why I say that, because someone here had a third party, they had another other lover and things may be ending here. Now you can tell me it's ending, you're setting some type of boundaries because they were the ones who had this other lover or it's you trying to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse or defense. Because it was you with another other lover and you're wanting to work things out here. Cancer, you have the five of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is you feeling remorse and regrets, hurts, crying on the inside over all the time that has spilled out, all the effort and energy that has spilled out, all the love that has spilled out. This is you mourning the loss of this relationship, disappointed on how things pan out in the relationship. So Cancer, you're telling me you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed here. However, you could be feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played. Clarify the Five of Cups for Cancer. Clarify the Five of Cups for Cancer. Clarify the Five of Cups for Cancer. It is clarified with you, Cancer, the Chariot. You're determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. So, Cancer, this is you. Clarify the chariot for Cancer. Clarify the chariot. For cancer. What about cancer? What about cancer? Clarify the chariots for cancer. It is clarified with justice. Could be dealing with a Libra, but you may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or you're saying that someone did me so wrong and so dirty. I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. So Cancer could be dealing with a Libra, but you can tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. You can tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Cancer. Clarify justice for Cancer. Clarify justice for cancer it is clarified with the hangman could be dealing with a pisces but the hangman signifies that the relationship is stagnant right now it's suspended in the air there's no movement but you may be beginning to change your perspective so cancer could be dealing with a pisces but you're telling me that you guys are stagnant something is hanging in the balance however you could be changing your perspective here clarify the hangman for cancer, clarify the hangman. For cancer, clarify the hangman. For cancer, it is clarified with the eight of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you. I'm sorry. Yeah, this can also speak to, no, listen, this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work, okay? So listen, Cancer, <laughs> I don't know, 
You can tell me that this is all work or business. You can tell me, because I'm busy trying to study your cards. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that you're working on something, planning something, perfecting something here. So listen, Cancer. You can tell me that you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed here concerning work or business, like I told you in this sentence, okay? You can tell me you feel like something was in fair balance or just and things may be hanging in the balance. You're, you may want to move on or move forward from this workplace here, okay? You could also tell me that you have submitted it to the Justice Department. Uh, I don't even know. Human Resources at work or whatever. Or maybe even wanting to take it to the justice system dealing with work or business here. You could also tell me that you guys are stagnant because something wasn't fair, balance, or just. And it may be having something to do with somebody traveling for work, something that happened while traveling for work. And remember when I said cancer, that it very well could be you wanting to work things out, wanting to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse, or defense. Same thing with this card, the five of cups, because you can tell me that you're feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played. And you're wanting to work things out. You're wanting to come in and right or wrong. So this reading could be vice versa. Cancer, you have judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. It all falls down. Oh, baby, oh, it all falls down. So listen, you could be passing your own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Or you're dealing with something illegal. Clarify judgment for cancer. Clarify judgment for cancer. Clarify judgment for cancer. It is clarified with the Knight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. So Cancer, you're telling me that everything has come to a screeching halt, either with practicality, work or business, or with you guys' relationship or commitment. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Cancer. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. For cancer, clarify the Knight of Pentacles. For cancer, it is clarified with the Ten of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. Something is difficult. Something is heavy. Something feels like a lot of work. Something feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders. Something is a burden here for you. Now, this is a 10, so this is an ending. This is you wanting to release a burden. So, Cancer, you're telling me you're having a difficult time, something is burdensome, and you're just wanting to release it. Now, listen, you can tell me that you're having a difficult time making a judgment or a decision here concerning practicality slowing down, dealing with work or business. You can tell me that your judgment is to go stagnant and release this burden with this person. However, because of this card and because of this card, because you could be trying to explain, not just setting boundaries. And over here, you could be hurt and mourning, but you could also feel remorse and regret for the part that you played. You can tell me that you're wanting to release this burden because you guys are stagnant. And it's you wanting to ask for forgiveness and a second chance. It's you wanting to work things out with this person. Cancer, you have the king of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. So Cancer could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this king of swords, coming forth with truthful communication, or making a decision. Clear by the king of swords. For cancer, clarify the king of swords. For cancer, clarify the king of swords. For cancer, it is clarified with the sun. 
Could be dealing with a Leo. But the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. Could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're happy. You want to be happy. You're over the moon. Or something was illuminated. Something came to light. Clarify the sun for cancer. Clarify the sun for cancer. Clarify the sun for cancer. It is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, brand new practical beginnings. So cancer, some type of opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date or a commitment. So cancer, listen, you can tell me that you're happy because there is an offer of maybe work or business coming in here and you're having to make a decision. Like I feel like you're having to leave one place of employment to go to a new place of employment. Cancer, you can tell me that you have to make a decision on whether or not you're going to be happy because this person is coming in asking for forgiveness and a second chance here wanting to start new with you. Cancer, you could also tell me that you're making this decision here to release this burden and move forward because something was illuminated here. You could have found receipts or heard that they accepted a gift, gave a gift, went out on a date with someone else, another other lover here. Cancer, And not just them, you as well. You could have made a decision to accept this from someone else. Five of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war. One up in one another. Snide remarks. Having the last say. Speaking ill of one another behind each other's back. Backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games. Ego tripping. Trying to win at all costs. A bunch of mind games of manipulation. So, Cancer, so listen, you can tell me that you guys had this tip for tat tug award toe to toe going on. Could be some form of mind games manipulation. However, you can tell me that you're pissed and you have an axe to grind here. Clarify the Five of Swords for Cancer. Clarify the Five of Swords for Cancer. Clarify the Five of Swords for Cancer. It is clarified with the Five of Freaking Swords. Hmm. Cancer, I feel like you may have had this tit for tat tug of war toe to toe with this work or business here, this back and forth, this battle here. You could have been pissed and said, you know what, I'm going to show you because you could be going towards something new, a new opportunity with work here, okay? Cancer, you can tell me in this relationship you guys had this tit for tat tug of war toe to toe. You could have tell me that there was some form of mind games and manipulation here, okay? could also tell me that you're pissed and you're making a decision to accept something new. Go out on a date with something new. Okay. I meant something. Someone new. Okay. They pissed you off. But it's like you're doing, you guys are doing it to each other. Two wrongs don't make a right here. It's like you're doing it to each other. They did it, so then you, you're you doing it. You did it, then they did it. And it's okay. I'm going to take a look at the hidden. No, the situation ship for you, Cancer. Now, this is just additional messages here. And it says cleansing, meditation, clearing space, removing negativity, cleansing, Meditation, clearing space, removing negativity, okay? You need to cleanse. What else for cancer? What else for cancer? And it says obsession must have indulgence. Obsession must have indulgence.
If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Cancer, this will happen in the next 48 hours for December the 25th through December the 26th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.